Good evening everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and as you can see we're having a look at the label of my uh, persimmon chocolatino this is an Asian persimmon now, I'm not sure as I'm not an expert on persimmon varieties if that's the same as the one that's sold as a chocolate persimmon in America because <clears throat> all of the nurseries in Europe seem to sell it as chocolatino so I, uh, and obviously that's probably the Italian for chocolate so I don't know if it's actually an entirely different uh, variety or if it's the same as the chocolate persimmon but the reason I've come out to have a quick look at it is <clears throat> it's quite unusual but there's a good opportunity to have a look at the two types of flowers on persimmons if I can just get this to focus in it's going to be easier said than done with the sun shining the flower we're looking at there on this plant is a female flower. You can tell by the large, oh, there's an ant going past, it's, it's, they're probably uh, tending to the green fly on the plants. That is a, you can tell by the large calyx, which is the large sort of dark green leafed area that surrounds the flowers on persimmons with a sort of swollen part behind it, that that's a female. Now the male flowers on persimmons tend to be in groups of two or three and hang from the plants. So if I can move that branch, if I can move this branch out of the way on the same tree I can show you the males. Okay, so we've got there, you can probably just about see them, if I can get them to focus as well. Those are the male flowers and as you can see they've got a they hang from a thin stem and they have a very small calyx which means that most of the flower is exposed now as most varieties of persimmon only have male flowers or only female flowers and they produce fruits if we can get that focusing again they produce fruits without pollination so the female flowers are actually perfect in terms of their ability to, to produce fruit so if you in, in most cases, persimmon, especially Asian ones, are produced without fertilisation and it does mean that the fruits tend to be seedless as well. But if you have a variety that has male and female flowers on, or you have a male and a female plant side by side, let's go back to this other one now. Let's we'll find it again, easier said than done. Where are we? Oh yes. If you have a plant that's got male and female flowers or a female persimmon next to a male persimmon then there's every likelihood that if you get fruits or when you get fruits that the fruits will have seeds in. Now I'm not sure how many persimmon varieties actually produce male and female flowers on the same plant. I think it's quite a rare occurrence but this has got, this one's absolutely covered in, in uh, male flowers. only seems to have one or two females so on that basis I'm only expecting to have one or two fruits if that on the tree if I'm lucky they'll uh, they'll set and I'll get that one fruit because it's quite a large size now this this chocolatino this one is about uh, back plants about in, including the pot it's a good six feet tall and it's quite heavily branched and it has got a nice thick stem on it and it's branching lower down as well so it's perfectly capable of supporting one or two fruits I mean you wouldn't want like 20 fruits on it because you wouldn't be able to support them but it certainly looks like there's a chance of getting one fruit with that flower and I'm fairly sure when I was looking around it I saw a couple of other females but I think they're tucked away behind the branches so I can't I can't film them easily anyway that was for anybody who might be interested in seeing the clear difference between male and female flowers on certain varieties of persimmon so if you if I mistake there yeah so if you if you were to grow persimmon plants from seed you may get male or you may get female only but uh, obviously if you've got females there's a good chance that they'll be uh, self-fruiting anyway so um, that was my chocolatino I thought I'd feature that one specifically because it had an opportunity for me to show both types of uh, flower so there we are again there's a uh, there's the female flower and in fact just above it 
about an inch away you can see a male so you can clearly see the difference in size and the females will get much bigger as they open anyway anyway thanks everybody for watching if you think anybody's interested by all means share the video please uh, like the video and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and you're interested in things like persimmons and other unusual fruits especially if you want to grow them outside the US and hit the bell if you'd like to get notifications of future videos. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out.